My mom would be at all my sporting events. Let's say I was playing football, okay? My mother would be on the sidelines, and if the play on the field started going one way, my mother would run along like, Mike, get him, get him! I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd get in the huddle with the other guys, they go, Mark, is that your mother? I go, no, I never saw her before in my life. <laughs> the greatest gift my mother ever gave me, she believed in me. I have overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead. But I believe I was kept here for a reason. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. How do I know this? I hung out with losers and I became the biggest loser of them all because I gave up everything I dreamt about as a little boy because of who I chose to surround myself with. My friends would drive me home at two, three, four in the morning. We'd be drunk and high, laughing in the car. We'd pull up in front of my house in New York. They go, Mark, Mark, the light's on. I go, oh man, my mother's up. See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi, Mark, how was your night? I go, it was good, mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour when we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed and I looked through the safety window and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home. 